students, are you missing the lab? I'll show you, okay? So, uh, this is our lab. Yes, I'm entering the lab. I'm so sorry, uh, Miss Uma didn't take it fully. Actually, our lab technician has taken out all of our tools and doing disinfection. Next time, Miss Uma will take the lab fully and show you, okay? Today, we are going to do food test. First, we are doing starch test. We use rice for this test. Take a spoon of rice and then add about 5 ml of iodine. And look at the result. It turns to blue-black in color. This proves that rice has starch in it. The second test is biuret test. As you already know, egg is rich source of protein. We can also use tofu, etc. Okay? Take about 5 ml of white egg and 5 ml of biuret reagent. Mix it. As a result, you can see a violet color. Okay, so this proves that egg has protein in it. The third test is Benedict's test. It's for reducing sugar. Take about 5 ml of sugar solution and then add up 5 ml of Benedict's reagent. Shake it and boil the mixture. You need to wait, wait and wait until the mixture change in color. As you can see, the initial blue color of the mixture will later turn to green, then yellow, and may finally turn to brick red precipitation. The amount of precipitates gives a rough indication of the amount of reducing sugar present in it. The mixture is likely to bump violently during heat. Extra care should therefore be taken while doing the test. It is safer to use a water bath to heat up the mixture. Okay, and it takes time. So look at the changed color. It turns to brick red, which proves that it contains reducing sugar. The last is lipid test. We use oil here and the filter paper. Just add one drop of oil into the paper. And you can see the transparency which shows the presence of fat. Okay, students, thank you for your attention. I hope you have an idea about food test now. I'm sorry if it isn't too clear as this is my first video. I will try my best to give you the better one next. Okay, see you. Bye-bye.